video is question three of the 2019 level two electricity exam. Right, what have we got? Question three, magnetic north pole, also known as north dip pole, um, is on Point Ellesmere Island in North Canada. Here is the Earth's magnetic field, lines entering the ground vertically. Um, strength of the magnetic field line is 47.3 times 10 to the negative six Tesla. Um, the bike has metal handlebars that are 42 centimeters long, wide I should say. Student riding a bicycle on the line, uh, what's he going at? 13.5 meters per second. Right, this needs to be 0 0.42 meters because we always need to change things into SI units. Right, show that the voltage induced across the handlebars is 2.68 uh, times 10 to the 4 volts. So in your formula sheet, you have basically only three formulas for um, electromagnetism. It's these three here. Use the force to pay the bills, F equals BIL, so F, the force equals magnetic field times current times length, F equals BBQ, and voltage induced equals magnetic field times the velocity times the length. Um, so we're obviously going to use this, the third one, velocity equals magnetic field times the velocity times the length that cuts through the magnetic field, um, and that is going to be equal to tiny, tiny, tiny magnetic field, 47.3 times 10 to the 6 Tesla. Um, times the velocity is 13.5. This is a show question, so you need to have the formula, the substitution when you put the numbers in for the formula, times a length that cuts through the magnetic field. So if some of this was outside the field, you only have to use the stuff that's in the field. Unfortunately, uh, fortunately, it's all in the field, and it has to be SI units. Um, and I'll just do that now. And we do, in fact, get 2.68 times 10 to the negative 4. Um, 2.68 I'm seeing to the negative four, and we're going to put our units. But I don't actually know if they ever mark. Given in depth explanation of how voltage is induced across the handlebars. So I'll just pause it, and write the answer, and then I'll discuss. Right, so I've said as the bar moves through the magnetic field, electrons experience a force. This induces charge separation, creating a voltage. My choice of words here is very particular. You need to say that it's moving, I should have really used moving 90 degrees to the magnetic field. Um, it needs to cut across the magnetic field. So we've got the magnetic field going into the page, the field lines are going in. The electrons need to go perpendicular to that. So they could go like that, they could go like that, they could go like that, um, but they can't go with the field lines. Um, otherwise, the electrons don't experience a force. Um, so I should have said cuts across or moves through the magnetic field lines, 90 degrees to the field lines. Um, they experience a force, and now I've said this induces charge separation. These three words are key. You need to have them basically in that order. Um, you can't say it causes current to flow um, because what it does is it separates the electron. Well, it moves all the electrons to one side of the bar. That's called charge separation. Charge is now separated, and that is the definition of a voltage. That is how you make voltage. That's how you make. That's, yeah, that's literally what it is. Um, voltage is just charge separation. You shuffle, shuffle all the electrons to one side. Um, yeah, right, next question. What have we got? The student um, then rides up a hill at 13 meters per second. Um, what is the effect of riding up the hill? Uh, what is the effect of riding up this hill on the value of the uh, induced current uh, voltage? So it's going to be less. Um, and we're going to say, I'm going to do this Ooh, the easy way. Um, because the, the, this horizontal component of velocity um, is less. But we could split the magnetic field lines. We could use trig to find the, the vertical component, or not the vertical, this component of magnetic field line, which this would be the hypotenuse, and that there would be, if you use this as the angle theta, um, it would have, that's a hypotenuse, you'd be finding, what would that be? That would be, up that way, it ended up being the adjacent, I think. Right, so I'll pause and answer. Yeah, I just went with the horizontal component. So see, the horizontal component of velocity is now less from voltage equals magnetic field times velocity times length. As voltage decreases, uh, as velocity, little v is velocity, maybe I'll write the whole word. Velocity decreases, voltage also decreases. Um, yeah, you could have also said the, like, whatever angle that is component of the magnetic field is now less because it's like going to be so, uh, cos theta, hypotenuse cos theta, so the may it would be cos theta, I don't think, or sine, either or. Um, right, D. Student has an after-school job at a junkyard. While they are there, they move, what is it, a 
meter steel pipe through uh, point at Tesla magnetic field with point two meter, uh, one point two right angles to the field. The the ends of the pipe are connected to a circuit outside the magnetic field. The circuit's got a resistance of five ohms. Oh, there's going to be calculation. Calculate the full uh, the force that the student needs to exert in order to keep the pipe moving at 3.1 meters per second at right angles to the field what? yeah okay he's trying to move it he's trying to push it you need to find out what the force required is going to be that way so essentially the only formula well when I write voltage is equal to the what are we going to find the magnetic field times the velocity times the length um, and then we've got the force yeah is equal to the magnetic field times the current times the length um, so what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange for the length um, so in other words force divided by magnetic field is equal to the length uh, ah, I'll shuffle over there and I'll shuffle that back into here so force divided by the magnetic field times the current is equal to the length so I'm going to have voltage is equal to the magnetic field times the velocity required um, time and that's going to be I'm going to substitute this I hope you can see that this where this L would have normally been I'm going to substitute in force over um, magnetic field times the current um, there we go right and now we can see that What are we going to do? We're going to cancel out the magnetic fields. Yeah, and then we're going to have this is going to be equal to um, velocity times force over the current. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move the current to the other side and the velocity. So we're going to rearrange for force. Force is equal to the voltage times the current times the velocity. Right. Turns out I don't have the voltage. Well, I'm gonna to have to work backwards again. So I just cross this out. I shouldn't have done that. That's right. I was trying to be sneaky and do some algebra. I'll just find out what the actual voltage is. 0 0.8 times 3.1 times. How much is it? It's 1.2 because that's actually inside the field. So the voltage is going to be equal to. Oh, I'm gonna use this formula actually. Um, I need to find out that. So. 2.97 volts so yeah 2.97 volts and i'm actually going to use this formula force equals voltage so voltage and now current is equal to so we got v equals i r this is a convoluted, convoluted way to do it but current is equal to voltage over resistance um so i would substitute that in so it's voltage over resistance um, divided by the velocity and we can see this is going to be equal to V squared over R divided by the velocity and now I'm just going to chuck the numbers in so I'm going to have 2.97 squared divided by 5 and then going to be divided by 3.1 oh 3.1 and this will equal 0.571 uh, newtons of forces so 0.5 Seven one newtons. Um, so we have the force is equal to and around that. How many SF? Two SF. Zero point five seven newtons. Um, I did a really convoluted, convoluted way to do this. Actually, probably should have just worked out what the voltage was here, substituted that in to this formula here. Um, it would have been a whole lot easier. But whatever.